Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing roast lamb shoulder with a delicious cider base gravy. It's all cooked in one pan to save on the wash it up and it will be a delicious treat for the family dinner table. I've got the oven preheating to 180 degrees C or 350F and now we're going to prepare the lamb. I'm a strong believer in using the best quality ingredients that you can afford and that's why we've teamed up with PGI Welsh Lamb for this recipe. If you've never tried Welsh Lamb before, it's fantastic and the PGI tells you that it's a quality product protected in a way that's fully traceable. We're going to rub on about a tablespoon of olive oil, then sprinkle with salt, pepper and dried rosemary. Cover with foil and then place in the oven for three hours. After three hours we're going to remove the foil and baste the lamb. Next we add in the potatoes around the lamb in the roasting tin. Then we drizzle on a little more olive oil and sprinkle on some more salt, pepper and rosemary onto the potatoes. Now we're going to place the lamb and potatoes back in the oven uncovered for 15 minutes. Those potatoes are going to be amazing roasted in those lamb juices. After 15 minutes we need to turn the potatoes and add in the carrots, shallots, butternut squash and sprouts. Turn them in the meat juices to coat them then back in the oven for 15 minutes. Towards the end of cooking we're going to add in the broccoli. We're adding right at the end to ensure it keeps its vibrant colour and a bit of crunch. Oh my gosh, just look at that lamb and those veggies. This is going to be so delicious. Now we're going to place the lamb and the veggies on a warm serving plate to rest whilst we whip up a quick and delicious cider gravy. Place the roasting pan on the hob on a medium heat and then we're going to pour in about 150ml of cider to deglaze the pan. Scrape it clean so you get all of that amazing flavour into your gravy. Then we're going to leave it to reduce for about 5 minutes. Add in about 300ml of lamb stock, bring it to the boil and then slowly pour in some corn flour slurry which is a mixture of 2 tablespoons of corn flour mixed with 4 tablespoons of cold water and stir it with a whisk until you get that velvety rich gravy. Now it's ready to serve. Don't forget to check out the website for the full recipe and more information on PGI Welsh Lamb. The family are going to love this.